come come let's make dinner together in the innocence household hi friends how you are doing so today you're gonna give me more support while i make the dinner in my house so i'll be taking you guys along with me details step on how to make meat pie and you're gonna see me watch me do the dinner in the house for today and like i told you guys every saturday is a very chill day in my house just do something and let that be just something to eat relax and everything so today i'm gonna be doing meat pie and i'll show you <laughs> all right guys meat pie is meat pie meat pie can be used as a snack can be used as a food depending on how you make it it can be used for several things so but my i'm gonna make it to be dinner today in our house so guys let me stop talking and let's get into the cooking come and give me more support okay <laughs> so guys these are some of the things that we need for the meat pie I already washed the potato the egg tomato vegetables cabbage meat onions I know I need other things so it's just gonna be a detailed video so you just see everything that I'm doing. I just freshly washed my hands and now and now I'm about to cut the potatoes so this is how you make the potato to have a nice looking shape actually here I have like two I can make it three I put them together like so then this way mm, yep then make a thinner chop you got this. so I'm gonna chop all and I'll get back to you <laughs> chopped potato so on to the next one now I have with me a freshly washed vegetable that I'm gonna cut now So now I want to cut the cabbage. Carrots. Sometimes it's not good to um, put hot water on your vegetable, but to be honest, I like the idea of putting hot water within, let me say, two to three minutes just to soften especially cabbage so that's what i'm gonna do because i really want to eat what i love eating not the standard or whatever so in about two to three minutes then i'm gonna bring them out and yeah i also have here mayonnaise so i'm gonna mix it up i just wanted to, to do the cuttable things that will get into the main dish so let's go together I just finished watching the chopping board, so let's get into the... So guys, in this part, I have here... I hope it's showing... But this is time. This is time. I've already opened it, so that's why I store them in here so this is time 
the ingredient that I'm going to use to make the sauce. This is like normal spice that you use for your stuff. So let me just bring them out and yeah, but, um, you just see how I'm going to mix it anyway. So, to make, it's a Nigerian pepper. Ada brought it from Nigeria when she was coming. So I'm going to use a little because it's very spicy. So I'm going to use a little of it. Then I, of course I have here with me salt. I don't need Maggi because I already have a stock. Oh, this is sunflower oil. So I'll put sunflower oil. So yeah. So the pot is dried now. So let me put some vegetable oil inside. I already chopped um onions. So I'm gonna pour the in onions inside the pot. So we just wait a little bit for the oil to be hot. Why am I carrying two spoons? Alright. It's okay. Yep. Yeah guys, so the oil is hot. You can see the smoke there. So the oil is I'm gonna put the onions. Alright. Here we go. Wow, this potato is so much. I like it though. One minute, then I'll pour my stock inside. So yeah, just wanted to show you the situation. I'll take my camera back to the position. So, oh, this is better because you can see inside a little bit. So I think it's time to pour my stock inside. This is how it looks inside. So before I put my seasoning, remember the stock already contained um some spices already. Like it was a cheap is a stock, so I'm not gonna put like much, just little. So let me get into it. So of course, I always like my food to be spicy, but now I don't eat that much spicy. I hope you'll know the reason very soon. So yeah, I just want to use the fork and get a little bit of the pepper. This is Nigerian pepper, very spicy, very hot. Salt, here is the salt. Add a little bit of salt to it. Freestyling, just little, 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 little. Not gonna be that much, just little. So now I'm using thyme. Just little. That's enough. So another seasoning, just a little. That's okay. And this is the main thing that is needed. You always have to put either curry or turmeric. It will be normal. So let me stir and see what's up. This is the African way to taste. Situation, how it looks inside. It's one, one thing that you have to keep in mind. You have to keep in mind that when you're making meat pie, you have to, when you're making meat pie, you have to, you, you want to make the sauce to be thick. The sauce, like the potato and everything, is like almost done, like three minutes to go. I will now pour the flour mixture inside, just a little bit, just to thicken it. That's just it. So, yeah cook along with me my dinner <laughs> so guys i'm about to wash some of the dish that i use so i can have space
boiling really good. I think I have to start mixing the flour so I don't do rush rush our stuff. So yeah. up. So guys, off camera, my camera was <laughs> so I offed my sauce and everything is done. Then now I want to mix. I got another mayonnaise. So for this phase, last phase anyway, I have with me my stock here, my dough which I already mixed. Egg and flour, so I'm going to be putting the flour here. Okay, guys, so this is the end product of the meat pie. And I'm going to top it up with this salad. I have this um, Turkish Turkish food. They call it Iran. It's basically yogurt mixed with salt and water. So yeah, that's, so this is what it turned out to be. And I, for some reason, I made it so big because I'm so hungry. So guys. so guys thank you for watching today's video and watching me do dinner in the house happy saturday and happy weekend to you guys do have a lovely lovely weekend and i will see you guys in my next video see you guys later bye